Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. Today we have H-E-B. Happy New Year, happy 2021. Today is January 1st. I don't know if this will go up in the next few days or what, but we're starting the new year off right with a fresh, with a house full of fresh food. Our fridge was starting to look a little over barren with leftovers and junky stuff and our pantry was still looking pretty good freezers a little minimal so we needed to stock up a little bit i was looking at my receipt because originally the total was right under 400 dollars, and then i had a bunch of coupons which if you guys know h-e-b h-e-b is amazing with coupons they have their own store which don't mind my face it's kind of red i don't know what happened to it i don't know if it was the makeup i was taking off yesterday or what but we're just gonna forget that and also the traces of mascara under my eyes. I'm tired, <laughs> if you can't tell. But it started at $3.99 and some change. I had a bunch of in-store coupons, so I used those. My total was $362.27. And so it was $400 worth of groceries. And then I had a bunch of little gift cards to HEB. So I only paid out of pocket $318.86, which is pretty good. I'm anticipating this should last us about three weeks and two to three weeks for sure maybe a tiny bit beyond with some of the things that we got we got a lot more meat this time than we normally do and stocked back up on some canned items so let's go ahead and jump right in 400 dollars dollar heb haul i'm gonna start over here like i always do i uh, picked up some wheat thins the reduced fat this is the family size when you bought these you got these sugar wafers for free, so those came free. Um, the family size Cheez-It, which is the extra toasty, when you bought these, you got the cookies for free, so this is just the H-E-B cowboy cookie. Didn't need them, but they came free, and I was gonna buy those things anyway. Um, we were complete, completely out of saltines, so I picked up a box of those, and then replenished some of our canned goods. You guys know I have a couponing shelf out in my I mean, it just really is like extra storage, but I call it a couponing shelf out in my garage and it holds some of our extra food. I never used to hold extra food there until the pandemic hit. And now I like to have extra canned goods and stuff on backup and just rotate some things through my pantry. So we go through green beans the quickest. They were 50 cents a can. So really great deal, $6 for this whole thing. And it'll stock us up probably for two more trips, maybe even three, which is great. Then I normally don't hold this many refried beans. This is an entire case, which is 12 of the Bushes refried fat-free beans, which if you're on Weight Watchers is completely free for half a cup. We use these quite frequently, breakfast, quick lunches, as a side for dinner. Um, these were buy one, get one free which is amazing. So I bought 12, I think they were $1.38 a can, made them 69 cents for bushes, which is great because normally bushes is a dollar plus. So I picked up a whole case of those and then I got some great Northern beans. I couldn't find just like regular white beans. So I picked up these white beans to go with in a white chicken chili, diced green chilies for that as well. One pack of garbanzo for salads, dark red kidney for chili. So I have chili on the menu, uh, tomato soup on the menu, white chicken chili on the menu, chocolate rice cakes for snacks. I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of my snacking and different things like that. Uh, in the new year, I'm not making myself any guarantees. I'm not setting any goals because I don't want to disappoint myself like I've done in the past. So we're just taking it one step at a time. I got some more mild sauce. I like this on eggs. So I picked up the paste. Um, we have Mississippi pot roast on the menu one night. So I picked up a sweet banana pepper in mild. We're completely out of mayo. And the uh, peanut butter. I was going to pick up the bigger jar, but we haven't been going through peanut butter very fast. The girls have been enjoying meat sandwiches more, but we do need a peanut butter just to have on hand. So when you bought this, you got these for free. So I was going to buy the peanut butter anyway. Figured why not? I'm sure the girls will like these. They're peanut butter and jelly oatmeal bars. I don't know. 150 calories for one. So we'll see. Um, the French onion soup. Mix, I hope this is the right one. Classic, yeah, I guess, I don't know. We found a recipe for the Mississippi pot roast using this, so anyway, we picked up one of these for that. Um, some nopales for either eggs or ground beef, a light ranch for the girls. This a cranberry Fabrice was on clearance, I guess, because it was from the holiday for $1.99, <laughs> so I picked that up. 
some animal cookies. We have some chocolate ones, um, but I picked these up for Everly. She's been really liking those, just as like a couple for snack. Some um, botaneros, the spicy and the regular green sour belts and um, little ranchitos, Mexican candy and snacks. And then I picked up replacing our sugar and our brown sugar, but then these were on sale for $3 off each. The zero calorie sweetener, like the, the monk, monk fruit, and then the brown sugar. So, I don't know, I'm gonna try them. This says they're good for baking, one to one ratio, so we'll see, but I picked up the real stuff to, you know, replace what we already have. Um, and then, I was gonna buy these tortillas anyway. They freeze really well. I just keep one in my uh, cabinet to use, or eight of them. They're almost $3, so they're not super, super cheap. So whenever I can find a deal on them, I always pick up extra, so I picked up four of these. Like I said, I'll stick them in the freezer. And when you bought these, you got these for free. So these are the Bake Shop Thin Rounds. They're two points a piece, and I actually really like these for sandwiches. And again, they freeze really nicely. So I put them, three of them in the freezer and keep one out. But if I was gonna buy them anyway, I might as well get something for free. So that was the pantry stuff. I'm gonna move over here to the meats. Um, again, we kind of picked up a few more meat things than we've picked up in the past or the last few grocery hauls because we had stocked up at Sam's and now we have all this. So two things of the extra lean ground turkey breast, two things of lean turkey sausage for breakfast, two things of ground chicken breast. This is about $5 a package, just over two pounds, which is pretty good. One packet of uh, chicken thighs. For the pot roast, we're using a top round roast. They didn't have a large one, so I picked up two smaller ones. So that, uh, turkey bacon, and then a skirt steak for, I think on the rest of fajitas or something. Some chorizo, we were completely out. We had actually stocked up on this a couple trips ago, but <laughs> we used it for Christmas and uh, breakfast since then, so we are completely out. So I picked up five. My Hinamini got a machacado again. He really likes that with his eggs, which it was really good. And then four packs of chicken breasts. These average about two and a half pounds a pack, which is what we use for a meal. Sometimes we'll have one breast left over. And I try and pick up these when they're on sale because they're $1.99 a pound and they're already split versus the other ones that are $1.99 a pound or even the ones from Sam's Club that are, I think, like $1.78 a pound. They're huge and you have to split them for them to cook evenly and not get dried out. So these are already split. So four packs of those. My hand meeting goes back to work this weekend. So um, we picked up some meals and stuff, not only for him, but for me to have at home and the Lean Cuisine meals were buy two, get one free. So every three, you only paid for two, and they're on Ibotta. Some of the other stuff may be on Ibotta, but I haven't checked. They're on Ibotta. The bowls are 75 cents back, and then the favorites meals are um, buy three, get 75 cents. So these ended up being a really great deal. So I picked up um, unwrap, unwrapped chicken bowl, savory sesame chicken and vegetables, shrimp alfredo, Ginger chicken, same thing over here. We have a chicken enchilada suiza, sweet and spicy uh, pork, no beef, and meatloaf and tortilla crusted fish. So we'll have those for a little while. Some brown and served turkey sausage patties, Texas toast for a spaghetti meal or something one night, hash browns for breakfast, two ice creams, one for my Hennepin Millennium Crunch, and then the no sugar added bluebell for me. A big thing of green peas. I've never seen H-E-B carry this large five pound bag of green peas. So I picked them up. We do have some canned green peas, but I actually prefer them frozen. And then also if we go to like the duck pond or whatever, this is so much cheaper than buying the little one pound bag for $2 and something. This is only five bucks. So I got that. Um, three gallons of milk, two of the organic coal for Everly, one of the 2% for the rest of us. Well, I don't actually drink milk, so for everyone else in the family. And then a bunch of yogurts, again, for lunches and stuff for him. The girls are distance learning, so all their lunch stuff is here. We make it here at the house, breakfast and whatnot. So I picked up this one for us, the Light and Fit um, Vibrant Vanilla. And then I got the Light and Fit Toasted Coconut Vanilla. They didn't have this one in a large one, so I picked that up. I think I'm just got this one. Protein, ratio protein, 25 grams of protein to try. These are kind of expensive, like $1.50, 
each. So we'll see if he likes that. And then three Greek raspberry, peach, and strawberry individual yogurts for lunches. Um, we have cheese from Costco for everyone else. So I got the fat-free cheddar and mozzarella for myself. A country crock, just margarine spread for the girls. I don't really use this. I use spray butter. So that uh, light sour cream for recipes. Two cottage cheese, the full fat, small curd for Andres, and then I got the fat free for myself. Girls don't love cottage cheese, they tolerate it, they don't love it. Two fat free cream cheeses for the chicken chili. Velveeta slices, these are only one point a piece. Turkey pepperoni, we have two big old things in the freezer of regular pepperoni for the girls and for Andres if they want it. The turkey pepperoni is for myself, and then uh, five dozen eggs. We had about a dozen and a half left, but it never hurts us to have more. And then for fresh stuff, I got a little bit of grapes because they were $3 a pound. So I only picked up a few. I think this was like a pound and a half, if that. Um, some angel sweet tomatoes, two cucumbers, the three trio of bell peppers, blueberries, and the little mini sweet peppers, two sweet potatoes. No one really loves sweet potatoes in the family except me. So, I mean, the girls, again, they, they will eat them, but they don't love them. They prefer, actually, they prefer them in a fry than a regular potato. So I will cook this up in the air fryer for me for a quick dinner or lunch. Bananas. We have some green apples and red apples left over from the last trip that I've held up really nicely. So I only picked up four honey crisp because these were almost $3 a pound. And again, for uh, their ginormous apples, so I can actually cut one for each of the girls to share. A big thing of romaine, one spaghetti squash, some yellow squash and zucchini for shrimp tacos, and also for just like um, chicken bowls, broccoli, don't mind the tequila back there. <laughs> A thing of carrots, some unripe avocados so they'll last a little bit longer we have yellow onion and purple onion or red onion whatever they're called and then one mango and a five pound bag of russet potatoes so yeah that is what we got for $318 out of pocket. Like I said, it should last us about two to three weeks. Some of the stuff that I bought extras of, like the bread and um, the canned goods and some of the frozen meals will last us longer than those two to three weeks, but a lot of the fresh stuff will not. We will definitely be out in two to three weeks. If you have any of your children at home for distance learning, and mind you, I have four of them that are eating regular food. Everly is 100% on she drinks whole milk she eats regular food she no longer does like baby snacks baby food nothing like that so she eats every single meal we have and very little but still i'm feeding six people here at home it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot so i'm going to try and do two grocery uh shopping trips in january so one right now and i'm going to try and keep the next one to about the same price. I upped my $600 grocery budget to $700. That's for six of us, and that's just for our food. Uh, that doesn't even include our $100 budget for household things because with everybody at home, Andres is going back to work, but he's still taking lunches, and he's still gonna have two of his meals here at home. Um, it's It was just too hard. I was like every single month going over our budget of 600, so I just said, you know what? I took an average of the last few months and we bumped it up to 700. We'll see how it goes. So I spent 318 technically out of my pocket this trip. Um, so we'll see what the next trip entails. Like I said, coming at you every two weeks or so, every two and a half weeks, I'll have a new grocery haul. That's my plan for the new year. So that was a grocery haul from H-E-B. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.